Hello everyone, this is Iqbal Khan for Mick Bonsai and today I'm working on a Malice crab apple tree. I will be repotting it. This is the Malice crab apple tree that I'm going to be working on today. It's in a training pot, it's in flower, it will bear apples as it does year after year. But I think time has come for us to take it out of this training pot and repot it. And I've chosen this Chinese pot uh, to uh, repot it in. So I will take the tree out of the current training pot and we'll start the process. And firstly to cut the wire that's holding it in and then from the other side let's freeze the tree and we now have to take it out and also we'll try and pull this wire out it may be holding more than just the spot where the wire had been also wound up. Okay, and the, the tree is out and um, we will start cleaning it up. I have bare rooted the tree and um, again some very long roots as you can see. Um, I'm going to uh, trim the roots uh, right round and for that we're going to use this uh, these root scissors firstly all the roots going um, above and out of the turntable and uh, it's a bit difficult I'm right-handed and the left hand is getting in the way but I'm going to sort of tidy this up Get a nice round root ball and uh, keep pruning. I think I'll lift it up and do it that way. You can still see what I'm doing. We did dunk it in uh, a, a tub of water and so it's been left there for quite some time to make sure that it doesn't dry out. And now I'm going to remove um, some of these. Uh, of uh, thicker roots which is roots like this one so I'll remove it go as far down as I can so that's out and same thing with uh, these thicker roots and uh, this side these are too high but uh, there's too few of these so I'm going to leave them until we have more roots further down. I'll just take some off from right at the top. So there's some reduction. They're too high up <clears throat> and compared to the other side of the tree. So they, we need, I'll be pulling the tree out of the pot. At every repot, I tend to do that. Remove this one. And a little bit more. But I think I'm going to leave it at that. <clears throat> that should do for now. And uh, just comb them out once more and see if any further adjustment is needed, if any more reduction is needed. So I'm going to reduce this a little bit more from here. And I quite like the, I quite went off camera there slightly. I quite like the look of these roots. They are, they are coming out in a radial fashion. Whoops, there's another one growing upwards and outwards, so we'll take that out. And uh, that should do. So we will start potting it up now. 
I have prepared the pot as you can see the uh, meshes and the wires to secure the, uh, the these are like hairpin bins and they secure the wire the mesh and uh, these are the anchor wires for the tree and that's the other side of the pot and uh, I'm going to put in start off with a bit of uh, grit at the bottom uh, to cover up the drainage holes and uh, then make a mound with uh, this soil and we'll start setting our tree into the pot. It's difficult because there is not a great deal to hold it down except these very thin roots so I don't have a choice. I'll go under these roots, let these roots not take them with the wire. So I've removed, move these roots and then go from here. Just position the wire so that they go over the thicker roots. I'm just going to turn it and uh, up now pull and turn, pull, release and turn to take up the slack. Now I'm going to put more soil in before continuing with the final so for positioning and tightening of the anchor wires. So add more soil. This is uh, cat litter, very similar to Akedama. But we have finished uh, repotting and I'm going to just tighten up the anchor wires now. And it's just pull and tighten and release. Now just test it. Now the tree is very very secure when I try to move it the whole pot moves. And I'm now going to cut the wire and bury it and we will now give it a very thorough soaking. Uh, it needs one. Just bury this wire under here, hide it. That should do and same thing with this side. Cut and bury. It's been given a very thorough soak to make sure that uh, the roots and uh, the soil are completely wet. We had bare rooted it, so it needs um, a lot of DLC and intensive care. The tree will be kept out of sun for at least two weeks and it will be watered thoroughly every day and that basically is all the care that it needs and there will be no feeding until after that time. And this is the view of the tree in the top while it's been watered. Well, that's the tree after it's been given a thorough soaking and I'll give it a quick turn so you can see it from all angles. I think the choice of the pot was right and um, it looks very, very nice in this pot. And right now, this is Wojak's favorite tree. I'll give it one more turn, bring it round to there. That's all for now folks. Thanks for watching. This is Iqbal Khan for Mick Bonsai in West London. And now for the afterthought. This pirate walks into a bar with a steering wheel attached to his pants, a peg leg and a parrot on his left shoulder. And the bartender goes, hey, 
you've got a steering wheel attached to your pants. And the pirate says, ah, I know, it's driving me nuts. You dig? This is War Jack, he's been helping me today with the camera and the trees. And um, getting a bit peckish, so I've made ourselves um, these uh, smoked salmon and avocado rolls and some Florentines to wash down with coffee afterwards. Men's decided to join us and she's having some of our smoked salmon. And now, and now for the afterthought. A par... A parrot? No, it's not a parrot, it's a pirate. And now for the afterthought. A pirate walks into a bar with a peg leg and a parrot on his left shoulder. Where's the steering wheel? <laughs> Oh dear. No. <clears throat> right, start again. And now for the afterthought. This pirate walks into a bar with a... That's not right either. And now for the afterthought. This pirate walks into a bar with a steering wheel attached to his pants. A peg leg and a short... Not a shoulder on his parrot.